Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here in the place to be doing my thing, you know. Uh, it's n November the 20th, 2023 on a Monday, Monday. Oh, what? Monday, Monday. Here we are. We're on the week of, um, yeah, this Thanksgiving week, you know, where everybody's. I, said, I thought the kids would be out, but the kids are apparently still in school. And so I'm not sure when they're going to be out. Probably. I, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that uh, they're they're walking around out there. And it's a little cool out there, so I like it. That feels fantastic to me. Even though I still got my, you know, I got myself set up to where I can cover myself up if I need to. I got several blankets. <laughs> Plenty of stuff to keep warm, keep me warm, or anybody else warm if they choose to but anyway just having fun hope everybody's doing fantastic magnificent and marvelous because i am i'm doing fantastic magnificently and marvelous just doing what i do you know living my life and uh you know enjoying myself and enjoying the amount of knowledge that, I, that i'm attaining through my research you know that brings me so much joy to to, to um understand the workings of humanity the understand the workings of myself the individual that's a fascinating thing to me and it's not uh it's not that's kind of whatever people say selfish it's not it's not even about all of that it's really more of a uh unselfishness in a in, in a positive way if that makes sense in other words i'm doing i'm concerning myself with myself but not taking myself so seriously. Does that make any sense? In other words, I am, you know, I am concerned about what it means to evolve my consciousness. As a matter of fact, I'd probably do a, a podcast, one more podcast this week. I'm not sure either tomorrow or the next day. But I'm I'm concerned about uh, the self education of myself, thus my consciousness, and understanding the workings of what goes on in me and how I create my reality. You know what I mean? Baby, baby, baby. So that's, that's what I'm more so focused on because, you know, it's so important. I don't know how much I can stress to people to clear up stuff, to resolve things, especially resolve your contradictions and just resolve your what you are thinking about and you'll know that it needs re a resolution is because of the results you're, you're getting you know are you happy with your results and i know a lot of people probably say they are but then it becomes more than just being happy with it are you doing the necessary things that are required to be uh, a genuine human being in the true sense that's where i'm focused in on so I pay a lot of t attention to those kind of things, and it, and and it, like I said, it, it causes me so much enthusiasm and so much uh, joy to know that there is a depth to us that none of us uh, that we may not even know that exists, and and for the majority of us, we are not touching it at all. We're just touching uh, some of these superficial factors of what it means to be a human being, and let's just be honest about that. Uh, I think a lot of people are realizing that. That's, that's, that's why I'm saying it. I'm putting this out to those of you that know what I'm talking about. You follow me. I know you follow me. You don't think I know you know. You don't think I know that you're following me. And that's irrelevant. Uh, what's, what's, what makes me happy is that you know that there is more than meets the eye about our existence. We're, not, we're just not born to get a job, uh, you know, retire. And go sit on the beach. A lot of people realize that's not what their life's about. And so they want to know what is the genuine true meaning of my life. And the genuine true meaning of your life is the evolution of your consciousness. So, And so I do the best I can to, to make that clear and effective to you. It's about the consciousness. And once you realize that, there is so much joy behind that. So much enthusiasm behind that. Because you know... That what is being said in these these uh these pyramid of uh so called entrepreneurs so called leaders so called this so called that is a bunch of rambling 
Okay, to say the least, I, I think worse than rambling, to be honest with you, because it it involves a, 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 a ingredients of indoctrination, manipulation, deception. You know, it it has that that kind of um, stickiness and disgustingnessly acting and behaving. And so, I've uh, you know I realize, like I said, with a lot of others, that there's more to life than all this stuff that people are telling us, this superficial stuff, and how most of us are in a trance, that we are, in, you know, that we are zombified in our behaviors, you know, on, on autopilot. And then before you know it, you know, you are in your 30s. And then before you know it, you're in your 60s. And before you know it, you know, you're facing death in, in the face. And you're wondering, what have I done with my life? Okay, that's going to be a revelation for a lot of people, unfortunately, who continues to to keep repeating the same, the the this the keep repeating the same um, behaviors and actions, and not questioning. Okay, well, how reasonable is this? How logical and how rational am I behaving and acting right now? What I've noticed with a lot of people, um, more so. Uh, of course, in the social media, in the social media universe, but just in general, that uh, a lot of people just really don't know what they're doing and how much is affecting them. You know, they're not conscious of how how much they're affecting themselves negatively or not, at least not uh, in a conscious you know, sort of speak, because if they were conscious of it, they would probably say, well, why am I doing this? You know, why am I thinking this way? And why am I acting this way? So there's just a lot to consider. And I'm just, like I said, I'm so happy that I am able to, to join with others to, to figure this thing, to figure this thing out and be enthusiastic about it at the same time. So, cause, so what's going to happen is we're going to have to be operating at a certain level. Not that we're above people, or not that we're below people. We're gonna to have to get into our respectives of uh, parallelness. We're gonna to have to get into that, um, that 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 frequency that we all are resonating to, that we all are drawn to, because it 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 is you know as I said the other day, a lot of people you can really find value in groups of like mindedness, okay. If you recognize that you are both, that all of you are operating on the same frequency, you have the same sort of mission, you have the same sort of um, uh, purpose and intentions that, hey, I want to get to the depths of what it means to be me. And and I know a lot of people say, well, don't don't be so concerned about being selfish. It's above selfish. Okay, you you know, you're concerned about... Uh, raising your vibration, raising your consciousness, so to speak, to be a more humane human being. And, and you know that that's a continual, ongoing development. It doesn't stop. And it'll continue and continue and continue forever and ever and ever. It's just you'll be doing it in a different form. You know, you'll be a different human being each time, but you have the same lineage of responsibility. I said something that's similar to passing the baton. You know, you're passing, passing the baton over to the next person, the next human being, the next personality. And they have this, they have the, the impulses or the energy of a similar objective. And that's to evolve the consciousness. If you made it that far up, you know, if you raised yourself enough, and I mean, billions and billions of people have not. They're in that abyss of, of uh, deja vu, spinning and just, you know, spinning to a grind. To where they're restrictive and they're not moving anywhere. They think that they're, you know, accomplishing things. All they're doing is just cr- just spinning, 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 and constricted at the same time. If you can imagine that, I you know I want to make it as visual visual as possible. And it's so hard to put things into words. And that's why I always I always I pay attention to words, um, you know, because it, it, you know it's, the words are important. Well, I think I meant instead of being selfish, it's selfishness or what, you know, I want to kind of stay away from those type of words and see if I can incorporate something different. But, you know, it it makes it, it really matters. 
it's always about their actions and behaviors regardless. So as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, I wouldn't be so concerned about the words, you know what I mean? Just just take in the action and behavior and 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 and, and see see if you can visualize it. I think if you can visualize things because you've you've had you have enough information out there to create your own visualization of things and to, and to kind of work it through without being uh, so obsessed with it, so fixed, you know, so um, extreme. You don't want to be extreme and, and, and obsessive about things. Just know that there is a, you know, there's a, there's our steps that you need to take and kind of visualize what you want in those, um, in those, in that sphere of where you want to be in your consciousness. And so with me, you know, it's always just, just understanding, 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 and making sure it makes sense to me, makes sense to me, makes sense to me. That is what brings me so much joy and so much enthusiasm because it's, it makes sense to me. That's why I'm so joyful and enthusiastic that others are sensing and receiving that as well. They understand, okay, you know, what, what is being told to us in public is not as irrelevant and it's not even true for the most part. But we know how to not be so offended by it per se. We just accept it as, okay, that's, that's something to, to keep in mind, but keep and continue to move forward nonetheless. Uh, and always stay conscious and not get yourself unconscious about what can be happening to you right under your nose. Okay, that's where we are, that's where we failed a lot. We've allowed things to happen right, over, right under our nose and not realize, okay, maybe I need to, to reconsider certain things. So I'm, I'm enthusiastic about everything and I'm more so enthusiastic about you know, the silent revolution of people that are supporting me. And um, I know, as I said, that for, for because we've all probably started on this same path together, you know, back in um, when I was in my 30s. And who knows how old everybody else were. But we're probably around the same age at 30 to to the early, uh, 30 to the early 60s, you know, in that range somewhere where we all were probably, within the same kind of circles of self-help, reading the same books, listening to the same kind of teachers back in the day, joining the same kind of uh, self-help groups, blah, 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 blah. I know all of, I, I can sense that a lot of us have probably walked the same, they walk the same paths, but even though we are in on our own individual paths, we still may be walking together or walking, you know, side by side or just walking in um in the same manner but not interfering so to speak if you understand what i mean there uh i think a lot of us are that type of uh we're type of we're visionaries we're like self uh self and self improvement <laughs> fanatics but not in you know in a joyful way not in a uh, you know in a typical fanatical way uh we are just about we're about you know there's something more there's more depth to this than what meets the eye, and we 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 separated ourselves years ago from what is playing out in the pyramid. Some of us do participate in it. For example, like politics, some people participate in politics, but they know it's all smoke and mirrors. But they still want to gain the knowledge and information, nonetheless. That's noble. Uh, whether it's in a business setting, whether it's in a you know, like in other words, some people are really are rolling around or circulating around in the pyramid, but they know that they're not the pyramid. You understand what I mean? So that's why they don't get offended with me when I point out the pyramid. You know, the the pyramid schemes, the uh, the the froster. You know, people that are participating in scamming and fraudulently and 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 deceptively misleading people. Sometimes you have to know. Sometimes you have to hang around in that kind of circle of. Uh, of individuals just to just to get proper facts about what exactly is going on and not just taking somebody else's word for it you're you're there you're rolling in the dirt with them like 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 for me as a first responder i was rolling in the dirt with some of the the most dirtiest people you know this planet has ever um you know i mean i mean when i say the dirtiest people i mean the the uh the harm and affliction. If the, this, there are a group of people that have caused other people. I've rolled around in that profession as well because I had to get the knowledge and experience. 
all because it's a it's a dirty and um, uh, unfavorable environment. And like I said, toxic. You still can learn something for those environments, but you need to know when to release yourself from it. That's my point, and that's where a lot of people get themselves stuck because they get happy about the materialism that they can gain out of that. And how they can purchase this and purchase that. You know, you get caught up in in the cycle of it and not understanding that that it was a it was, you were there just to to pick up the the knowledge and experience of it all. So that you'll be properly discerning information that you may be disseminating or you know. So so there's not that's why it's so important. I tell you to have experience. A lot of people want to dismiss it and think, okay, let me just read these books. And pretend and recite and regurgitate and, you know, have, you know, be act as though, you know, on the exterior that you're, you know, that you're all this and that and the other. When inside, if someone's uh, perceptive enough, they'll know that it's all fraud and uh, manipulation. But, you know, for, for safety reasons, most of us just disregard it. And stay away from it because you know it, it can be a dangerous. When some people get exposed, they get dangerous. So keep that in mind. Um, I I know for a fact, or I sense for a fact. I you know I shouldn't say I know. Uh, I I sense for a fact that you know a lot of people are going to be exposed, but the one but those that are being exposed are going to be uh, dangerous because then they're going to be seeking revenge and retaliation. Okay, they're going to be seeking revenge and retaliation. And that, and, and you or me or anybody in, in their sight doesn't matter. You know, they, they're going to target whoever is, whoever is there within them. Some will go out and try to, in, in attempt to seek those that they presume, presume may have snitched on them or who are, may have hurt them, you know, may have did this. You know, the people that they're blaming for their failures and their miseries, okay, I uh, I know for a fact um, that, you know, there are some people that just do not um, like me or do not like certain people. And there's not a goddamn thing I can do about that. Okay. And they don't, they may not like me because of anything that I need to be concerned about because, you know, but th they don't like me because of who I am or what I am and why I am. And I was able to discover that and they were not. They're failures and they're in their misery. So they want to find somebody to blame for that. So, which means that even though you may be operating in, in the right fashion as a, and developing yourself constantly, loving yourself constantly, it doesn't mean you won't be a target, is my point. So that's why you need to be very, very mindful of when you attempt to reach out to people. Okay, do not interfere with a lot of people. Let them find you. If they choose to, and trust me, they will. Okay, in other words, I don't need to be going out necessarily, you know, uh, attempting to interrupt someone's uh, developing or lack thereof. Okay, what I can do is, uh, I, you know, because like I said, on, when I'm online, I have a little bit more of a, um, a filter of safety, meaning I can go into a group, and I can start a, you know, some conversation, this and that and the other, without necessarily worrying about my physical safety. Now, in public, I'm a little different, okay? I make sure I scale that area completely and make sure what, what am I picking up here. And, I, you know, I assess the situation very deeply. And I, um, and I you know, I, I'm, in other words, I am conscious when I'm in the, in the, in the presence of other people. You know, I'm paying attention. So when I do decide to meet with people face to face, that's going to be, you know, that's where you're going to see a difference in me, you know, because like online, you know, hey, that's different. I can go online and just go, 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 go and not worry so much about my safety, physical safety. Of course, I can be indoctrinated, mis, you know, misled, deception. I mean, all that can be all that can happen on, to me online. But in the physical sense, you know, yeah, I, pe I protect my my physical, you know, and anybody that's with me in my, in my, in my presence that, you know, if I have my partner with me, you know, it's about safety because not everybody is happy about being exposed. 
you know, a lot of people are not going to be happy about that. And they're going to seek revenge and retaliation. That's all I'm saying. So make sure you protect and you pay attention to those signs that you receive. And that's why it's so important to resolve things. You, you, you may not have to resolve it with the person. Say, for example, you were in an abusive situation with someone. I say it's dangerous to attempt to reach out to that person that abused you. But you can work it out into yourself where you need to heal. I know a lot of people say, oh, take your time healing. Take your time healing. I disagree with that. But to each his own. Everything's free will. I say you need to get to a point to where you're healed so that you can move on. Okay, you, you you know, in other words, you know, the wound, you have a wound, an open wound, okay, is healed, but a lot of people want to keep opening it up again and opening it up again and not allowing the wound to heal. There's nothing, um, you know, you're not disregarding anything that you've gone through to say that you're healed. I am healed. Okay, so that means when anyone comes into my life, they're not going to be dealing with that what happened to me unless they keep bringing it up some people like to bring stuff up about what's happened to you uh because they want it they want some safeguards against that it won't happen to them you know there's a lot of uh there's a lot of mind games too with interpersonal relationships unfortunately because no one wants to be uh no one wants to be left off well in their opinions they don't want to be taken off guard or you know they don't want to be hurt again you know, and so that's why you just have to be mindful of your thoughts and trust yourself and, and trust who you are aligned with. You know, that's going to bring you the biggest, you know, if you choose to allow it to happen, that's going to bring you the biggest revelations about your growth anyway. So you don't need to be too concerned about, you know, what can happen to you. Um, you do need to heal. Okay, if you do not heal, then all you're doing is dragging along all that other stuff and not making room for anything else of value to come into your life. There's nothing there's nothing to say that you're less than whatever because you've healed. I think a lot of people like to stay in, in the fact they're healing, they're healing so that they can they can prevent being harmed again. I'm not really sure what that's all about. What's wrong with saying you're healed? Why do you need to keep healing and healing and healing? And why do we think that we, you know, yes, you have some time, but you don't have all this time that you that you believe you have. I told you we're in a physical form for a allotted amount of time. And for some people, their time is up. All you, all you have to do is consider, okay, just consider that, um, that number one is our lifespan that that hinders a lot of properly evolving your consciousness okay um it's the factors with the planet more than anything if we had not done so much damage to the planet okay i, w I would say well maybe maybe so but it you know um we've allowed we you know we've allowed the planet to come to you know, the, I mean, the planet is in the in the it has is in the process of correcting, and it's been in the process of that for a while. You know, I think since the, um, the 2000s, uh, because you know, like I said, the damage was done in the 70s, and then anybody that was born in um, you know, in after that, you're like the effects of everything of where the damage was done. If that makes sense. I know a lot of people, you know, may not understand this, but what I'm saying is the damage was done in the 70s. So it was, you know, it was like at a point of, you know, it was unrepairable. Okay. Now, if you happen to be born, say, in the 80s and the 90s, you are the effects of that and everything else going on with the planet. So I'll explain that a little bit more later. So you're going to come in, you know, you know, with some residue and some, um, you know, some, some factors about your personality that you may not recognize is a result of the damage being done. All right. You're the consequence. And that's, that can, and, and you have to see it as neutral though. If you take that on personal, then you're going to be filled with rage because you're going to want to seek revenge. Why did you have me? You, you're going to say that you're probably going to say to your parents, why did you conceive me? 
And why did you blah, blah, blah. You, you know, you're going to look for somebody to blame. That's what's going to happen because, um, it's going to be a revelation to a lot of people that we are massively, massively overpopulated with people. Okay. But nobody wants to admit that. And I understand why, because there's this, this fear, which is, which is a, a valid fear of, uh, of how, you know, a lot of people believe in a selective design of how to uh, eliminate people and this and that and the other. But if you just consider the big picture, you will understand that irregardless of uh, what someone plans to do or want to do, doesn't mean that they can. Okay, I told you this planet is filled with uh, carriers of hereditary uh, properties. Okay, and so what is happening is, um, while that's a factor, there are some races of people that are eliminating themselves. They are committing self-suicide because they don't understand that. So, in other words, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, you know, in less than a thousand years, a race of people can be eliminated and go extinct. That's a possibility. And then while the carriers can become so much, so much more massively and extremely violent, where they're constantly taking themselves out as well. So there, there's, no, there's nothing pretty about anything that we are facing in the future. There's nothing to be patting yourself on the back about. Yes, it's good to know who you are, what you are, and why you are. But then you need to recognize as a result of this uh, complacency and not understanding that, there's a lot of time that was wasted. Okay? Or there was a, a certain time of where there was not proper development. So all you were doing was spinning and spinning and spinning and be doing the same type of behaviors and, and, and um, uh, behaviors and actions for millennia, for millennia, just for, you know, for millions of years. You know, in other words, you just haven't evolved past a certain caliber of thinking, thus behaving and acting. Okay. So I know that I've reached certain people all over the world, let's just say, that understand what my uh, intentions are and my purpose. And I, like I said, I do appreciate, you know, the, the silent support that I'm receiving. It doesn't mean that, you know, any one of us are immune from anything. And I'm not delusional to believe that at all. It doesn't matter anything about uh, uh, n the necessary. Um, I mean, I'm still a human being. It's my point. At the end of the day, and you are too. We're, we're human beings doing what human beings are supposed to do. And that's evolving our consciousness. It's not about accumulation of wealth. It's not accumulation of property. Accumulation of likes. Accumulation of followers. You know, to get all of the attention all the time, to be always the center of attention all the time, the center of conversation. A lot of people get off on that, and they think that's a positive thing, to be the center of conversation, regardless of whether it's negative or positive. Some people just want that. They want that kind of uh, exposure and intention. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's going to be a turning point. However, at some point where, because of the extremism, some people are going to be at one point extremely positive about things and then they're going to go around and be extremely negative and they're going to be, going to be seeking revenge or retaliation because they realize that the gig is up I guess as they say or that they have been exposed okay and then they and they are essentially empty an empty shell of a person and and and, and the things that they hold value to have no value at all to them you know so and that's going to create a lot of rage, retaliation, and seeking revenge. So, again, I want to send this out to people that are following me silently. You don't have to show it in numbers. You don't have to show it in following. You don't have to show it in likes. You know, and I, that's why I say don't bother commenting on my videos because I want to protect your privacy and I just want to protect, you know, I want to protect you. Uh, I'm doing this for a reason. Like I said, once I start my nonprofit, 
I can meet some of you face to face, you know, maybe one on one or maybe in a small group setting. And we don't have to, nobody has to know per se. Uh, but I want to make the best impact that I can, but it's not about followers per se, or having likes per se. I want to make the biggest impact, you know, and it's about universal love at the end of the day, right? So I'm enjoying this. Um, I, 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 I like the, um, I like the neutrality of it all, but I like the importance of it all as well. I like the um, the clear and effectiveness about what I'm doing. I like the um, the elevation of you know, of what's possible, <laughs> you know, which is that that's the most uh, that brings me the most joy and enthusiasm. All this knowledge that's out there, and that we just don't know what we're sitting on. We don't know about the opportunities that we have right now. We're not going to have anything like this ever again, in my opinion. You know, this opportunity, and I sense, like I said, there's that this there's this manipulation of time. I sense that. There's a sense and receiving of a manipulation of time just to make sure in the distant future, when when others look back on this planet and ask themselves, what happened here? What happened here? And they realize that there's not a goddamn thing they're going to be able to do about it. All they're going to be able to do is you know, maybe fly into this soul system, realize what's happening and immediately get their asses out of it, you know, and allow what's going to be, this going to be, you know, we're at a point to where, uh, there's, there's no way to avoid certain things that are, that are scheduled for the future, you know, that were prophecies and now they've turned into predictions, meaning at some point, in a fraction of almost a hundred percent, maybe less than that. I'm not, you know, let's not worry about the numbers, but in other words, it's going certain things are going to happen. Okay. Certain things are going to happen and we're not going to like it, especially when it relates to our climate. So we're not going to like that at all. You know, nature, nature's nature is involved now. And, um, you know, it's in nature's hand now to save planet earth since we as humans you know, the collectiveness of humans refuse to do so because one person can't do it. You know, not even a million people can do it. Not when you are with 10 billion on a planet. That's illusional. And so relax yourself in that quest. You know, just just put your information out there. Be as clear and as effective. You're going to resonate with who needs to hear you, who needs to see you, and who needs to feel you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start right now. Get me something to drink, relax, and enjoy my evening. I'm going to send peace and love. And trust me, I'll be back.